So when you look at the number of attacks that have happened in the region over the last couple of years, they've consistently been uh, on a sort of flat level, right? The number of attacks have either been a little bit up or a little bit down, but not enough to cause that much of a, a public outrage. The biggest problem though is the number of publicly disclosed breaches have actually increased year over year over 108% over the last couple of years. So you're starting to see more and more coverage of publicly disclosed breach, bre breaches such as Kareem, such as British Airways, etc., in the news, in the media, and that's actually, actually causing uh, an increased level of awareness at the executive level, at the corporation level, and even from a public community perspective. So the big, again, the biggest changes that we see typically are the number of publicly disclosed breaches have increased, and also, Unfortunately, the average time to detect and respond to an incident for an organization in the Middle East, in this region, is twice the global average. So when you look at the global average, it's usually between 130 to 140 days. In the Middle East, it's usually between 240 to 270 days. That's only to detect and respond to an incident. And generally speaking, best practice, regulations like GDPR want you to do that within 72 uh, hours or less, right? So there is a huge uh, uh, progress gap that we have to fill up and live up to. Yeah, so there are a couple of things that we struggle with in this region. First and foremost is our focus on uh, uh, security, right? And from a security perspective, we tend to go with the best in breed, when in reality, sometimes the best in breed, whether it's in technology, people, or process, is not really what we need. So as you probably have seen in our different press conferences and the summit throughout the last couple of days, we're spending enough. I mean, growth in this region is, 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 is immense, $2.1 billion. We expect it to be even higher by 2020, but we're spending it on the wrong things. So we need to take a step back, look at our, look at our overall holistic security program and realize we have to build foundations, building blocks in order to get to where we want. Many organizations in this region are missing basic security controls, right? And we tend to go with, uh, you know, sort of the futuristic and emerging technologies without actually focusing on, well, do we have the basic foundation to support that technology or to operate that technology? So generally speaking, from one standpoint, it's the focus on basic security controls. The second thing is, when you look at the increased awareness that cybersecurity has had all over around the world, this region is no different. More importantly, we're starting to see more privacy concerns emerge. Regulations like GDPR have uh, uh, played a huge uh, uh, foot in this, but essentially what we're starting to see is more consumers in the region are starting to ask for their rights. They're starting to ask for their privacy uh, uh, concerns. They're starting to put in place what we refer to as uh, SARs, subject activity requests, etc. So as a result of that, <clears throat> Um, uh, the right to consent, the right to have private information in an organization, all of this stuff has to be collected in a secure manner and be able to be controlled within an organization. So that's putting a huge increase on, not on, or huge pressure, not only on IT managers, but also on the rest of the business. Yeah, well, the symposium in, in Dubai that's going to happen in March is, is the largest gathering of CIOs in the Middle East. And basically what we will be covering, not only from a security perspective, but from sort of a rest of Gartner perspective, we will be talking about futuristic looks into artificial intelligence, blockchain. You'll start to see more emphasis on what we refer to as augmented intelligence, which is the how people and machines support each other instead of focusing strictly on artificial intelligence. From a security perspective, you'll start to see more sessions on how to increase awareness at the board level because cybersecurity is becoming much uh, more prevalent at the board level. And more importantly, you'll start to see a little bit more focus towards the people side of things. We have a huge talent shortage uh, um, and really skill shortage in this market. So how can CIOs, how can IT managers, how can security leaders bridge that gap? Because government agencies, national plans, organizations, they're all moving towards digital transformation, whether it's adoption of cloud, moving towards artificial intelligence, etc. But security plays an important role in that. And if you don't have the people to support that digital transformation, security will be left behind. So that's what we're trying to focus on at Symposium and why it's important for a lot of CIOs, because in reality, a lot of CIOs in this region own security.